Welcome back to the Seven Deadly Sins Anime Review Special Number 13. This one reviewing the 287 chapter of the manga Prince of Darkness. The chapter starts out with a, with a brief cover story of Zedros, Melios' brother. And the thing picks up right where last other left off. Yeah, for two chapters in a row we have featuring uh, uh, Merlin and and um. And the Sin of Pride. Mm -hmm. We see Matt Melianos very briefly in a flashback. Otherwise, though, he is, aside from this one brief panel flashback, he is nowhere in this chapter. Yep. So we have his people, some people talking. And then we have Zedros just taking on one of the Archangels. Launch an attack. And this, and this big fight between him and the Archangel takes... Takes up a good, like, half of this chapel, a big, br like, blown away. Merlin is, uh, stop, it's a Henderson. And Merlin's like, don't worry, these two are still alive. And Ellis wrote this, Merlin! We're still in hot water. I'm sure she does, from what I can tell, she doesn't mind the fact that Sin is actually worried about her. Yeah, he doesn't, she doesn't have a problem with that. At least keeps her on her toes. Mm -hmm. Though there's obvious hints that she kind of knows about him being attracted to her. Why not? She's a smoking hot woman. And probably him is like, to her is like, man, I have a very handsome man with a mustache directed to me. Even though she's implied that she had a thing for Melionis. And telling like, stay away from Zeteros. Archangel get angry. Of course, she see a lot of like thing talk about Zedros, and she asks Elsa for his aid. He says no. He says excuse me. Did you just say no? Give me order is a wisecrack at best. A wisecrack. Who do you exactly think you are? Lions, lions sin. Lord Esher, did you forget? In every in every presumptuous human, I'm the leader of the four archangels of the goddess clan. Ridicule. My word is real safe. How dare you, Elator? Give her a hand, would you? Gladly. <laughs> it's like he only takes orders for the woman he loves. <laughs> is it? Well, I thought you no, you list the orders. Merlin's order is a different story. Now, more importantly, do you have a player? Do you have, do you, do you have a man in plan in mind? If not, I'll send you flying. Yes, only if you agree to follow my orders. Yeah, kind of a funny chapter, but good amount of action. And it's like, okay, Ellis Orton will not take orders from his archangel, but he will take orders from the woman he loves. <laughs> yeah. And the chapter ends with, to be continued in chapter 288, Operation God. Yeah. Yeah, this is a reluctant team, but this was a pretty damn good chapter. Good, very good amount of action, yeah. The fight between the, the Archangel and General takes up, like, most of this chapter. Where they destroy a lot of stuff, and, of course, she asking Elder for a hand. She, of course, him saying no, and, of course, you know, the whole thing of saying that Merlin's orders are different. Yeah, it's something that he'll take orders from Merlin, if not this Archangel. Probably because he doesn't trust him, but he does trust Merlin. <laughs> yeah. This is Overall, was a fantastic chapter to read, and I do recommend it definitely. It's a lot better than the chapters that feature the Sin of Lust and King. Those are kind of boring. These are interesting chapters, and this fight is only going on now for two chapters. And this fight only started at the end of like chapter, like I think it was like 285. Yeah, this fight started at the end of 285. It's been going on now for two chapters. Not bad. After spending like two chapters on Melios and Bond, maybe this fight will wrap up the next chapter. Who the heck knows? It's just a possibility. But yeah, this is a great chapter. I kind of like to see like eventually, maybe by 300, we see all the Seven Deadly Sins reunite after the big battle with the uh, with the remaining Ten Commandments. I mean, overall, there's only about two. There's only about three left alive. Yeah, almost all of them are all dead at this point. Yeah, except for Zeteros. The, the woman who's kind of like their group's necromancer, who's a smoking hot woman anyways, who's keep uh, Elaine alive. And I think there's one other person, and I think that's it. Yeah, as far as I can tell, all the rest of the Ten Commandments are all dead. I'd say about seven 
seven out of ten. Yep. So yeah, good chapter. Okay. So that's particularly it for this particular review. I'm also going to give it a nine out of ten. Fantastic chapter. Uh, my next review, I'm hoping to do today. Actually, there's a couple of videos, a couple more videos planned to do today. One is I, I probably will get a chance to do this one today, maybe, and that will be another top ten list. You'll find out what it is when I get a chance to do it. And a review of the of the sec of the I think it's the third to last arc of. No, it's the second to last arc of. Yes, yeah, the second to last arc of the Rape Master anime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully those two videos will be done today. Okay? But see you in the next video. Bye.